right, welcome back to your balanced diet of Charlie <laughs> this Friday edition. Trust me, we get a lineup of gadget guests in the house. Now, time for us to meet another very intelligent, beautiful um, um, guest where we get inside the house. Now, if you if you look at us in a wide view, you go see say. Person was supposed to sit close to me, don't actually decide to move away from me actually and bounce me. Bounce do she serve, go straight um, very close to our guest. I like now, the hand gesticulation. Yes, very close to our guest. Yes, you can see our yeah, guest now. That's, that's we are moving. Ah, Miss you know, legs in the house. You know, movement, movement is, is good. We mm. can't stay in one place. We have to keep moving. Like, no, you have to tell us where wow. you are moving to. Because moving. you cannot move it without direction. I'm moving to the permanent side. <laughs> wow, I'm the permanent side, left hand side. All right, oh, very Hotlegs. good to have you, Miss Hotlegs. Thank you very much. So tell us about yourself, Kim, quickly. Okay, um, my name is Abi Bautayemi Tayo. I'm 23 years old. I'm from Oyo State. A graduate of Botany from University of Lagos. I served in Illinois mm. from a family of five. five. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 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 <clears throat> I don't stammer usually, but you know, it's not every day we used to see people that have odd legs in the studio. So, wow, as uh, the odd legs wow. come, in fact, <laughs> like, wow. the legs are so hot. Even, even so I'm, I'm sweating right now. Wow. He actually had to touch the leg and then he ah, had to vibrate. My mother is vibrating. Mommy, now what are you doing? My mother is vibrating. Mommy, mommy was vibrating. I didn't touch any. Ah, my mother is vibrating. Please, mommy was vibrating. I confirm it. Now your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so Miss Hotlegs, tell us what the, what is this passion? Uh, pad, pageant, sorry. What is this pageant? This pageant about Miss Hotlegs. What is it about, and how did it come about? Well, it's it's just to showcase your legs, basically, but not just your legs. You have to be intelligent also, because beauty pageant mostly isn't about just your outer appearance. It has to do with your inner self also. So you have to be confident. You need charisma, and you have to be intelligent. Okay, you you say you showcase your legs. From from which length to which length of your legs are we saying? Is it just the feet? <laughs> Or to the ankle. <laughs> or okay, from your cap. ties, actually. From your ties. Yes. Ah. So tell us how challenging it did doing that, um, doing that, doing this particular competition. Man, it was challenging. I didn't think I was going to win at all because this is my. I've never modeled. This is my first pageant I was going to do. I did it due to financial issues. Yeah, it was really challenging because um, when we started training, the whole catwalk training and all, I was lagging behind. Like. I was always laughed at she gets. So most times when we go back to the hotel room, I don't sleep. I start walking up and down the hallway in the hotel rooms, yes. So did you, from, did you um, work from where you're coming to this place? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask you this no, question no, no, now, no, no. darling. Now, we see a lot of pageant shows coming up, and some of them get some kind of names where you go to wonder, say, why do we have this particular pageant? Mm -hmm. Now, even Miss World now, the organizers of Miss World, now they come outside talk, say, the girls will no longer wear short things, mm -hmm. they will no longer wear bikini, because they don't see and say, it is more than your physical, your, your features, but now intellectual. Is that what you think too? That's what I think also, really. Aside, okay, Miss Hot Legs, basically, you need to showcase your legs. Aside wearing bomb shorts, we don't wear bikini. You don't even have to expose yourself. You don't even have to go out to sell tickets where people can even see you and then want to take advantage of you. You're not even allowed to do that. So it's just the bum shorts and then the dinner wear and your traditional outfits. That's all. Now, a lot um, of people believe, say, when it comes to beauty pageantry, there are a lot of political things behind it and there are a lot of forces and a lot of candidates where they push forward as a person we're supposed to win or not supposed to win. You, you be get any of this kind of experience when you do this competition? At all. At all. I've heard I've heard about pageants where you have to sell tickets and then the highest bidders win. Mm -hmm. But this particular one, I did not sell zero tickets. Nothing. I only went there, I did my thing. Okay, fine. We asked questions. I got my questions correctly and that was it. Okay. Um, so I what like part of your pet project, sorry, okay. just quickly. Part okay, of your yeah, pet I project. did um kick against hepatitis B. Okay. I was yeah, I did the project in commemoration to um women international the International Women's Day, yeah. So I was able to give 50 women free hepatitis B vaccine. I did screening for them and then gave them vaccines. Why are you passionate about hepatitis B? Because nowadays, my mom is a medical practitioner. She works with Lagos State General Hospital Lagos. I noticed anytime I go there, most people, they don't, they don't have knowledge about it. They don't even know what's happening. They don't know what hepatitis B is. So I noticed people die easily. And I, I decided to do it for women because it is we women that bring life to this so I decided to do it for women. If a woman can get vaccinated, her baby is safe. Do you understand? So I know some people don't they don't know anything about it, and so I decided to do hepatitis B. Most people go to orphanages and all. But I decided to do a medical outreach, something 
really important. All right, that's nice. I, I was going to ask now, uh, moving forward now, after I don't do this pageant finish now, what, what are the things that, um, you know, what are the things I expected of you? This, I believe that this uh, pageant, uh, you know, your, the position lasts for a year. A year. All right. So within that one year, what will be the things we didn't expect say you could do? What will be the kind of benefits, first of all, with this party and bring on your side? And then what will be the things that you expect say you could do? Benefits, well, the money, and then you get to meet people. <laughs> what will be the cash prize? Like? What was the cash prize? 500,000. Ah, a million. And did they give it to you? Yes. Ah, uh, hello. <laughs> you don't feel it. You need to that. You need to that. You need to that. Come on, cross that leg and face this angle. Are you not facing north? So they are facing west. So, so besides the money, besides the money, uh, what are, what are that benefits and what kind of exposure has this given you? Mm, well, immediately I was at Daily Independence. I met with the MD. I met a lot of people, though. Have you met me? <laughs> yes, I'm you don't I'm yeah. Are you going to insure your legs? Because Angela told you she insure her lips. Are you going to insure it? But what if accident happened now? And, uh, uh, and cost you even insured one part of her body. <laughs> so would you insure your legs? I'll think about it. Think about it. I guess she's a little girl. Leave it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but what if you tell other young ladies where one going to model, you know, where one going to beauty pageantry, and they've heard so many horrible stories about how um, how tough and how crazy you can get in that sector? What if you to tell them? I feel I would say they should just go for it. It's actually tough because you don't know people that are coming to compete with you. I auditioned in Lagos. People came from Abuja, Port Harcourt, Ibadan, like that, like that. I was, I was really scared. So I feel if you think you have the, what it takes or you think you want to go for it, just go for it. Go for it. Pray, read up. Google, search the internet in case they ask you questions, tactical questions. Okay, are you are you are you interested in going to professional modeling from here, or are you already into professional modeling I'm based not. on this? You are not. You are not interested. I'm not interested. Really? Yes. With this kind of hot legs. It's so much confidence. <laughs> I, would, I would set the wrong way on fire. <laughs> At all. So, so it ends there for you. No, it doesn't end here. I don't. I don't have to model before I can do. I can do pageantry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, but for from, you know more often than not, most people who come out from pageants, especially ladies or even the guys too, they go into into modeling. Uh, modeling. modeling. Mm -hmm. Are you considering it? Now that you are saying that, I consider. consider. Yeah, because it's supposed to <laughs> okay, now please, because I know yeah, a lot of people, a lot, no, a lot of people want um, they want get they want to ask more info, more questions and ask more about you and the more information where they feel get and look up to you. So you get any of your social media handles yes. where you feel to release have for Ms. everybody. Flex Nigeria, there's info at Miss Flex Nigeria. Yeah. Your personal yeah. one. Personal. I know a lot of people oh, want to meet you personally. CME. Thank you very much, CCME, Miss Hot Legs, for hotting our studio. To enjoy more of this, our Ugon Get videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.